Hi guys, welcome back to the Sonic Oasis. My name is Mpundo and in today's videos we have a new main stage competitor. So if you're a keyboard player or a gigging musician, you might be familiar with main stage. So I'm going to be bringing to you a main stage competitor that aims at taking some of that market share away from main stage. And this one is called Stagebox and it's available on the Traction website. Later on in the video, I'll explain why you should consider Stagebox over main stage. But for those who aren't familiar with all of this, so Stagebox is a live performance tool that is designed for keyboard players. So this essentially can replace your keyboard or complement it on a live stage. Okay, so when I got my hands on this software, one of the questions I had to ask myself is, who is this for? And right off the top of my head, I could think of four possible people who could use this. So the first person would be someone who is a performing musician. You've created your songs in a DAW, and now you're looking to perform those sounds on a live stage. So you could obviously use your existing keyboard, but that might not be an option as you might not be able to reproduce those sounds exactly as they were in your studio session. So this allows you to import your VSTs and all the plugins you used on your track and be able to perform them live. So the second person is a keyboard player who simply cannot afford a flagship stage keyboard. So this allows for a much, much more affordable entry point while still being able to have access to all the functionalities that you would typically have on a flagship keyboard. The third person is a gigging musician who just wants to shed off a lot of weight. Um, so this just allows you to carry your laptop, a MIDI controller, and possibly an audio interface as well, and you're on your way. And the fourth person would be a musician who wants to integrate both the hardware instruments and software. So you just want to dabble with both worlds and this will allow you to do that. So let's dive in and see what the workflow looks like on Stagebox. So what I love about this is the ease of use. It's very simple and very fast as well to set up your songs. So as you can see, you've got a very simple workflow it starts on the left and it goes all the way to the right. So on your left hand side is your set list. This is where you create a list of songs that you're going to perform. So each song is made up of sounds. So this is the sound section and you are able to add as many instruments as you want on each sound. So for example, here I'm going to add, let's add GeForce, GeForce Axes. So for each individual sound, we are able to choose which MIDI controller it goes to. So right now it's being controlled by all of my controllers and I can choose, let's just say the four pages box. And as you can see, when I play another controller, it's not being affected. So you're able to do that and you're also able to choose the MIDI range or you can create splits as well and which channels it's sending to. You're also able to choose whether you want the sustain pedal to work, the mod wheel, the pitch bend, aftertouch and all of those functions. And you can change the velocity curve as well and transpose as well. And then moving along on the signal part. So this is the actual plugin that we chose and we chose access. Um, from there, I'm able to add an effect. And then you have another set of two send effects. And then you have another slot for an effect. And then this is your layer volume. And then you have a slot for a sound effect that can affect all the instruments that are listed on this side. And you've got a song volume. And here you can choose on which output channel this goes out to. Yeah, so it's a very simple and straightforward signal path. And this allows you to create songs very fast on the fly. And you're able to save the files and recall them. 
Um, another cool feature is that you have shared sounds. So for instance, let's just say that this sound, I've created this sound and now I want to use it in another song. So if I want to use this in another song, I can simply go to the sound, sound options, and I can copy the sound. And then I go over to another song. From here, I can choose to paste the sound. So I'll paste it as a shared sound. So you get the symbol here that says shared. So what this means is whenever I make any changes to that sound, it will affect every other place where this specific sound is located. So if it's in song number one and I make changes to it, and if the same sound is located in song number three, the same changes will apply. And if you want to disable that, you can simply just click on shared and then turn this into an independent sound. Another cool feature that musicians will love is that it has a patch remain feature. So what that means is that if you are playing song number one and you switch over to song number two, you can simply hold the sound and it doesn't drop the sound by switching over to the next song. Another cool feature is that the CC messages are specific to the song. So what that means is if a CC message is utilized in num song number one and you switch over to another song, the same CC message can be used again, which affects a different parameter. Um, I'm not sure if I'm explaining it very well, but I'm gonna try and demonstrate it. So we've got song number one right here. And currently this CC message number 52 is affecting the layer volume. But if I switch over to song number two, it is now affecting the sound effect send. So you have the same CC messages doing different functions depending on which song you are on, which is something that I really, really appreciate. And MIDI mapping is really, really easy. You just choose whatever parameter you want to control. You move it and you move your controller, add mapping and you're done. You can also control multiple parameters using one knob or one CC message, which allows you to create super knobs as you would on a Yamaha montage. So what you've been seeing right now is the edit mode. So there's another mode called the perform mode. So if we head over there, this mode just allows you to have the song list and nothing else. And this is great if you want if you don't want any distractions and you just want to perform the songs without looking at your screen and knowing what's going on so all you can do is in this mode is change the songs and it also allows you to add notes to the song that you're performing if you want to give yourself a reminder of whatever you need to do in the song and i forgot to mention that there is a tap tempo function as well which is very useful if you have any arpeggiated instruments okay so by now you're probably wondering why not just use a DAW instead of something like this. Well, the truth is you can, but DAWs are, can be very clunky and they are not as streamlined for live performances. So something like Stagebox gives you a lot of flexibility and quick access to live performance specific functions. So some of you might also ask why not just use MainStage? Well, main stage is somewhat of an industry standard, especially in houses of worship, but it is only accessible to Apple users. Whereas Stagebox is cross-platform, you can use it in Windows, PC-based, and you can use it in Mac OS as well, making it much more accessible to everyone. Just to give you a little bit of perspective, according to Statista, in 2024, 70% of the global desktop market share belongs to Windows-based PCs. And there's a number of reasons for that. On average, Apple computers are far more expensive if you compare them to Windows-based PCs that have a similar performance. And also in developing economies, this cost can be further exaggerated by the fact that most developing countries don't have Apple stores 
so we rely on Apple resellers, um, which mark up the price quite significantly. So already Apple computers are not even a consideration for many people who are looking for an affordable solution. So MainStage being a Mac OS based only system really locks out a lot of people, especially in developing economies. And this is where Stagebox becomes the solution. Now, admittedly, MainStage does have a lot more features. Now, admittedly, MainStage does have much more features than Stagebox. Um, and that's something that you can compare whether this is something you would use or not. Um, but to bear in mind as well, this is only the first version of Stagebox. I think we are in version 103 currently and I think there's still a lot of room for development. Now, it's not all rainbows and sunshine. There are some improvements I would like to see happening on Stagebox. Um, the first one is some of the user interfaces on the plugins don't open correctly. So this is not on every single plugin, but when the issue does happen, it's quite frustrating. And I believe that and I believe that they are working on the user interface. Um, the previous update that I recently did, did sort out a few user interface problems. And so, yeah, it's good to see that they're actively fixing these things. Yeah, but I have to mention that that is currently an issue on some plugins that they do not open correctly. So as you can see on Pianoverse, this section is cut off. Sometimes it opens correctly, sometimes it doesn't. So yeah, it's just one of those things that need to be sorted out. Another improvement I'd like to see is a search function. So currently, if you want to add a plugin, you have to press here and then scroll for the manufacturer that you're looking for. And then once you found the manufacturer, then only you can go over and click at the plugin, which can be quite frustrating if you want to work very fast. It would be good if there was a little search box where you can just literally type in the name of the plugin and add it. Yeah, I'm sure there's other things that I'm not, I can't think of right now. And let me know in your opinion, what functionality would you like to see in something like this? We obviously use the same software very differently and I might not be seeing it from another person's perspective. So let me know down below how you would use this. So there was Stagebox. It's available on the Traction website. I will leave a link below. Uh, before I close this video, I'd like to say a huge thank you to our Patreon subscribers. Thank you very much for your continued support. I see you and I appreciate it. Until the next one, I will see you later.